Welcome back to the display play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We now get a deformation and a witness. And we're going to go pay our visit. September 6, Gateway to Hotel, room 3 on 3. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, I? Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, Paul. See he. Be more to self. Thank you that you come shoot for making my job harder. T, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go fresh now so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross examining this one. And that might be you, Felix. That might be you. So let's just in the surroundings while she's away. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Can we actually see the painting? Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. I wonder if what I see if I look through the window. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the faint cool off this building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Hey, what's this hanging out of the tear of the dryer here? There's a screwdriver stuck in this dryer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought you was going to explode for a second there. I wonder who could be inside the dryer. I guess we'll have to come back later to find out. Let's talk to her. Let's talk about which to witness. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Absurd. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, but I'm not encourager. Er, uh, you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see... Um... Well... Three man! If you want to know, you deserve to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Liar! Oh boy... Let's talk about her! Um... Could you just... Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Liar! Are you hitting on me? No, 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 no! Hey, I'm just doing my job here! Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Uh, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television! Oh no, not me. I'm er, uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues? In the garbage! Huh? This may not have lied to us, little lawyers. Huh. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's so nicely. How about we just. Get out of here and let's try again the Grossberg law offices. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Uh -oh! If that wasn't the most over the top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Uh -oh! 
Yeah! So you're the one who say has been looking up for me! Uh, y yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Oh, the part on your color! Ah, so you are a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly bossy these days. Please proceed! Not bossy? Then how come the one could get in touch with you? Mm, something the matter? You came to see the one and lonely Marvin Grosberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy! What do you want? Out with it! Um, w well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Ugh. Oh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Huh? What a strange reaction. Achita. I'm really quite bossy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. But wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <coughs> anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? You refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What have I done, Maya? How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Um, uh, what you say, just a mozzy, you see? But a client is Mia's face sister. Um, <coughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I go to guess well. Uh, did you say something? I did not, I said. What do you mean? <clears throat> I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worked on Saul would take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? No. I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? No, 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 I am not leaving yet. How did you know me, Afe? She, born here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning patient. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha, you noticed! It's my pride and joy! Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wind of the small hand! It's worth at least to me, million! I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you! I wasn't interested. It's not for sale! I'm not buying! Jeez. Well, looks like we're done here. Let's deliver some bad news. September 6, 3.42pm, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, uh, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I. I really don't think you should use that guy. He. didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean. He refused to help. Oh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Poor Maya.
Well, that's the only thing we can talk about, so... What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? The woman in my family have been victims for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I'm gonna use it. Oh, also, I have to become independent or I will lose my ESP. I feel bad for her all by herself on that mountain. So, who is this man um, who ruined your life or your mother's life? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and we were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We're tough. You tough? The man my mother helped to put the capture was innocent. The police consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the priest. He told all the papers that my mother was fraud and the media jumped in big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Oh. Just a little longer now, before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Well, you know what? I wouldn't be a good attorney, neither a good friend, if I didn't offer my help. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... I can't abandon you, someone else is a culprit. Yeah, that one. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Shit, am I reading my life? Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one in their side. Maya. I won't abandon you. You can cut on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Whew, she's at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes! I trust you, so you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside a strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Well, before we move, let's give back the cell phone. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. 
Did I listen to my sister's voice? Mia's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Well, there's nothing else I can do here. And I am officially representing her now. So I guess I'll try to go back to the hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the uh, facilities. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy! Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embracing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. <gasps> ah, I almost forgot. <coughs> you, you came back quick! But ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White or Blue Cove phoned. All right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ran me and Diane's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Very well. That drawer. We need to know what's in there. There has screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A uh, war tap? Huh. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Well, well, well. What do we have here? There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in our hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bad boy. Still there? Uh-oh, time to scrub. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! To be continued. This is indeed to be continued! Because we are going to save the game, and I will see you next time on the continuation of Let's Play Felix Fright, Ace Attorney.